brothers and sisters, my viewers out there, the Eastern youth, the African youth, the black race, and as well as our rivals, the whites. <coughs> I've come again in this episode with another important topic that needs your attention. We are separating the bees from the flies in our culture. We are separating the bees from the flies in our religion. We are separating the bees from the fly in the characteristics, rituals as associated with what we believe as black people. We have gone astray and this way is where we go astray is where we tend to correct with our teachings. That is what the Father has sent us to come and teach you so that you will understand where you have erred and redress your footstep towards finding your path. That is why we are here. Of course, the kingdom must be built, the kingdom must be restored, the authority must be instituted, and it must be done by men. Men will be used as the instrument in the hands of their fellow men in bringing to pass the fulfillment of the decree of the Father. And that is why we are here. I don't know why you are there. I think that is also why you are there. So today we are going to focus our discussion on a very interesting topic called the animal magnetism. Animal magnetism. I repeat, animal magnetism. This is the sort of another science going on in the environment presumed to be what our culture entails. No. To the Christian science, there is animal magnetism. It's a branch of that Christian science which has been used to infiltrate into the culture, which is also being used in return in the church, which is their own in the worshipping of their dog-made spirits. And uh, this animal magnetism has been an instrument of the dark ages. It has been an instrument of the devil himself. That is the son of the morning, the dad who sings a lot, that has been his instrument from the beginning. This same instrument is what he used above to deceive many who were cast out with him. And they are here. They have not ceased from that act, act before. They are the spirit you see in all over the churches, in all over any business or spiritual home, or what, what nonsense you will call it anywhere in the world. These are the spirits scattered. And then the father has sent his own messengers who will come to teach men to understand the difference between the animal ritual in its own science and animal magnetism in its own science. All are under the animal ritual of the father. Now, how do you separate them? The animal science, uh, the animal magnetism in the Christian science is the witchcraft and practice. Is that manipulation that induces man to believe what does not exist. That is animal magnetism. It is a, a kind of spiritual uh, projection in the material physical exercise of uh, uh, metaphysics. You know, metaphysics has its own material physical exercise in the practical terms of what spiritism is. So if we come here to discuss that part of, 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 of mathematics, it, 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 it brings in the matrix and the logarithms. It brings in the matrix and the logarithms. Okay, geometry too is involved in this 
animal magnetism discussion of today. So if you are a geometric student out there in any university, I think you are going to hear an information today that will help you so much in your research. If you are a, 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 a philosophy student there who love logic, I think a, a, a lawyer out there who understands what logic is, I think you are going to hear something today that will trigger you to win a case. And if you are a, a pastor, out there fetching a uh, word to feed on. I think I have brought you a message as a bombshell to your congregation to understand whom the father is and how he works. So we are going to discuss animal magnetism. What is this animal magnetism? Now let me come into the sense of our own cultural application. The man who does the evil work will use the blood of dog. The man who also does the good work will use the blood of dog. The man who is doing the bad work is using the chicken. The man who is doing the good work is using the chicken. You see? So how do we know which chicken is key for the good purpose? <laughs> the man also in the Bible or in your churches, you see, the same thing is happening there. And now, these churches come in, these are their priests, this their foundation is being laid upon this animal magnetism in the decisive form to make man believe, to change the thought of man in the lyrics of its own hearts. You know, they, they say the heart, as they say the face is the expression of the heart. So as the heart think it, it shows in your face. So it looks as if the, 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 the pastor sees, no, it's just the principle of animal magnetism. This is what they use in your churches, claiming that they are prophesying for you, claiming that they are teaching you what is not, uh, uh, what God have given them, whatsoever a being they believe have put in their mouth to teach. That is animal magnetism. Because you are the animal, and he in his forces, is magnetizing your interest with his preaches. And then you will be dying for it. You can hang his chaplet on your neck as the Adadijiu, hang his picture and move around the street like a wrap up. That is what animal magnetism can cause. You know, I'm a philosopher. When um, I was once a proclaim a PhD holder, but my mate find it difficult to call me a doctor, but today I am have, have an opportunity to, to have that same opportunity in our cultural uh, uh, heritage. Now they are forced to call me doctor. So if you don't acknowledge it in the literal sense, you will acknowledge it in our cultural sense. Two ways. I'm there. <laughs> okay. So I try to help them to understand that we cannot reason in one direction. And uh, look at what the word has given unto us. Now let us begin to trace the sources of what this word is using. And when we begin to trace the sources of these powers, we will now begin to see where it ends. Animal magnetism. Animal magnetism. Now let me come in with Okite. Okite is an animal magnetism. That thing with an influence to deceive. That thing with an influence to obtain. That thing with an influence to induce is animal magnetism. Okay, now, Okite, in the real sense of animal ritual required by the culture in the ordinances as regards to the salvation of mankind is what is being prepared, used for a whole community, a whole race of a people. Now, it is used for one person. Don't you think this is manipulation? Don't you understand what I'm trying to explain? So let me use our language. As you may as you heard you a copy, Abara, we heard you a copy. But he got each a put it in a wire. Can I want a placenta or a linen one? Can I want to head you a wire, bro? If I want a linen one. My head you may pack it, we head you the make it. And when I want to. So what am I trying to explain? The, the principle of the 
sacred heart is the derivation of the act of Okide, the black animal magnetism as being displayed by Akokoko and Go. Those are the witch doctors. This is what they do. Those are the witchcraft native doctors. They use this animal magnetism to hypnotize and to influence and to make believe, to cheat, to deceive, and to manipulate. This is their work. This is who they are. What material that is being used in the process of the ordinances and the purification of the land to bring in progress, that is what we call the seal of wealth. That is Obiaba. Now, the sacred heart is the seal of wealth. Now, in that intent, those materials were gathered to prepare that because one person cannot keep it. So, the man, the native doctor or whomsoever spiritualist will not keep it in his place for you and be feeding it. Animal magnetism. Now, let us look into it this way. All of us want to keep our hand like this and invoke money as being seen in Nollywood movie. That is what every young youth wants now, is to raise his hand up according to Nollywood movie and they will be full of money on the bed. They now carry and begin to... That is what every young man is aspiring to right now. But I tell you, there is no road there. Those are those influence of animal magnetisms. It's an illusion. It's a total destruction for an individual. Now that which is being used later is now using you. Because it is what we call Okorobo Abara. You know, in a sacred heart, many is said to feed therein because it's the heart of many. So on that, you will be accepted. You will be accepted. The whole likeness of your generation will focus on you. The whole world of a generation will be focused on you. Yes, you have been successful. But what happens after you leave, you do not know. This is why, this is what the animal magnetism has brought. People now can eat their own physics in the name of convincing or manipulating one to pay him money. That is animal magnetism. So it is, it, it is a bondage. It is a yoke that needs to be broken. And this yoke is being sponsored and being fed by our so-called churches and pastors. Those are the people feeding this evil. Those are the people feeding this spirit. These are the people performing these rituals of animal magnetism in their form of womanly nature. They, as you see them in the churches, the same way you see them in the different native doctors' dwellings. Okay, let me tell you one of the Obanji native doctors. Any native doctor you find believing that this tree is here, is his God. Remember, that is the wrong one. That is the wrong one. Any native doctor you see designing his body with different color of Uri is those of one one. Now when you see them, when you appear in their in their dens, you see colored, they color themselves. Those are those Obanje spirits. All inside the womb. All, and that they are all the same. Then we, you now see it in the church. When you go to a church, you look at how the altar was decorated. Try to count the number of color you see in his altar. You know where he belongs. You know the spirit he tags in. These are the animal magnetism that you don't see that we see. Do you understand? When their altars are prepared, they take you, they, their flag, they must flag their flag. Red and white, blue, green, whatever. He or she must flag his flag. And as soon as it comes to red and 
or uh, white and whatever mixed or uh, more than three. Then you find out that Obundo women are other than them, the Dibia in disguise as pastors. That is why you call it ministry. Because they know it's not a message from the father, it's just their own activity they are running. That's why they try to remove their head from the course and call it ministry. The ministry must go on. So what I'm doing, they will say it's ministry. Do you understand it? So that is animal magnetisms, which they practice is what have kept us in this condition. Now, it, it, it didn't begin today. It has begun from old. These rituals has been done and this spirit has been raised. Who now go out there inducing, raising their own priests in the churches like uh, a Roman Catholic is a beast. He rose and raised his own priest. Listen, at first you are a Roman Catholic member, you are just the, the captured or the followers of that beast. The same way is the Anglican, the same way is the Methodist, the same way is every church. Now, in any church you belong to, try to find out the beast you are following. Now I need to review this to you. Try to know the beast you are following because they will use the name of Jesus Christ to lure you into a useless thing that you don't even know how to begin and how to come out from it. That is what I am telling you. It's happening already. It's here. So now I have identified to you the deity, the being, and the father of whom I proclaim, which is Amadio and his messenger, Kamano. And then other princes, princesses and princes of the kingdom, of which I cannot mention their name here, but I know them. But in that lineage, I have not seen your own. So tell us the name of your own. Tell us where the kingdom lies. We have seven kingdoms where we all come from. So which kingdom does your own God control? I have told you where my own control and his territory. <coughs> now, the, 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 this animal magnetism can only be diverted or can only be neutralized when we begin to have a memory of whom our creator or our whatsoever they will believe as a father or a deity will ascribe as the most high. When we begin to think towards him and trying to know him is when we begin to draw closer to our liberty. And by the time we begin to think towards knowing the most high, we will now begin to discover the right way to approach the Most High. We will now know that the religion of the Most High is religion of peace and freedom. The religion of the Most High is religion of our many wives and many children. The religion of the Father is the religion of truth, justice, and goodwill to all men. There is no limitation. There is no level. There is no height. We all live from eternity to eternity. We all live in procreating and creating and walking towards seeing that the endless act of the Father, which he has created all over the world or all over the universe, is functional and active. Many things have I made. So we are part of the instrument to keep the functionality of the many things which the Father has made. And here is our training ground. So by the time we begin to look into the animal magnetism, we will lost the reason for which we were made. We will lost the mission for which we are here. We will lost what we are here for. We will not be able to fulfill our objective. That will make us not be able to have our passage out. We will remain here. Animal magnetism. So in our rituals, in our sacrificial rituals for the spirit, for that which is required of according to the elementary purposes of nature. We are not required to believe that the sacrificer is the glory earner. No. We are advised to believe in our culture that the sacrificer is an aid towards you ascending to meet your father. We have no limit of anybody towards meeting the father. 
we do not believe that only one man can take you to the Father. No. The Father has prepared his ordinances that when you fulfill that ordinance, you have your express passage to him. So if you have not seen the Father, then know that you have not fulfilled your ordinances. And the ordinances of the Father is not animal magnetism. Animal magnetism is a mystic act of mysticism in the mystery of the ancient of all ancient, that which was done in the beginning. Also, Otua came in Nambu, Otua Kage Mubua, Otua called the Otua Koga Digide, came here Otua Otua. Do you understand it? So that that which was done in the beginning to seal and that will be done to unlock, that has been the practice and we continue to be in the locking and the unlocking process of creation. It can never change. You and I cannot change it. We cannot change it. So that is who we are. That is what we understand. That is where we are heading. And I assure you that animal magnetism is a sin. Animal magnetism is an act of illusion. Animal magnetism is not part of the ritual process of ordinances, or in our language, ordinana, in the salvation of mankind. We cannot be savage by animal magnetism. Using the animal to control the animal to get our desire. That is what brings about slavery. That is what brings about um, um, undecisiveness. That is what brings about evil leadership or bad leadership because they are all involved in these animal magnetism processes in their wealth relationship. Go and research. One way or the other, by the hand of a pastor or by the hand of a priest, in one way or the other, in one land or one place, in one church and one prayer, all these things have been applied to assist you to get to where you are. And until you begin to loosen yourself from the shackles of it, you cannot understand the state of your existence. So I want you to know today that in as much as we continue this way, we cannot return home. We cannot return home. And I assure you, when we return home, it does not end there. We prepare ourselves here to go home to take up the major responsibility. The responsibility ahead of us is more than what we face today. So we have to prepare ourselves here to undertake that responsibility for the Father. There is no place for you to sit down and clap before the Father, no. There is no place for you to, sing, to sit down and begin to sing for him, no. There are so many natural instruments created already that are perfecting the environment with the sound of nature the word. The birds alone, they are the best singers. The birds alone can sing more than anything. So let us now begin to learn to understand how this our father works, who we call God in the English language. But I want to tell you that it is a deceit it is just all about the dog spirit. That which was used, that which sold himself unto them when they inquired a power to conquer the earth. And that was what they projected. Read your scripture very well. In Revelation, it will refer to you the beast that rose after the beast. And then calculate how many churches that have risen unto the Pentecostalism. You will now understand the meaning of the beast that arises in Revelation. These are these churches one by one. Do you understand it? The ones with plenty horn is how many branches of authority they will have all over the world. The ones with two heads is what? It was, these are God. Churches, kingdoms as governments. Then you now look into Isaiah. You now understand the government of the earth. Isaiah wrote about them. Then when you now look into these two, you now understand actually if you that thing you call God is truly a God. That is darkness. So I don't know when what you will feel or how you will feel that when you are dead and the kingdom you find yourself is where a dog is sitting down as your ruler, as your creator. Don't you think you are finished? I don't know how you will feel then. Then you become dog. <laughs> Whereas those things are made by the Father to strengthen and protect man in his cause in the spiritual act. But man turn around to worship those and not the father.
So the father have said, those have lost their way. No one will be destroyed. But whatever kingdom you choose is where you will be. No one will be destroyed. This is what animal magnetism is all about. It is a form of spiritual mesmerism mm. in our culture that has to do with a lot of man-made demonism act. This mesmerism is cut across every, every act of uh, spiritual mindedness in the churches, every act of uh, spiritual consciousness in the cultural religion, every act of uh, 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 independent consciousness in our community decisions, animal magnetisms. Let me take an instance in my community. This is six years our king is late and a new king has not been emerged. On the process, uh, one barista pro in the community meeting mentioned um, that we can even leave the king. You see? Now, in the animal magnetism, this is, this is, this is how it comes. Now, a learned man a learned gentleman who is expected to direct or to strengthen the low tongue of the community on what is legal and what is not legal is now advising the community to go the other way around, to stay with the king. You see, that is to say that he is trying to hypnotize us or he is trying to project a feeling of impossibility to make it possible. That is what animal magnetism costs. Now, the act has been performed. Now go and present the message. Okay. The other way around. They neglect that a, a constitution has, cannot be altered. They are learned. They are all seated as learned gentlemen. Now, they cannot understand what is the right thing to do in an existing constitution. A constituted community is writing a new constitution when there is no king on board. Animal magnetism. Things going upside the way. Why? Somebody has performed a ritual somewhere to change and bring in wrong perspective or perspective or wrong view of a total interest and uh, present it confidently to win a vote. You see, these are the act of animal magnetism where we claim that we want to do the right thing, we end up doing the wrong thing. That is what animal magnetism can cause. Where we will claim we want development, but we don't support development. That is what animal magnetism costs. You see the example of one of the influences of animal magnetism. I use my community because I, I, it's what I can testify to. So I don't know the situation around you in your home community or in your business that this animal magnetism influence carry. So when you understand the way they operate, you will understand when such has come around you. And you rebuke it. You rebuke it. Because animal magnetism is not your spiritual consciousness. It's not animal magnetism. But they made animal magnetism to be your spiritual consciousness. That is a way they feed their demons. In you, in you, you are being made to believe in my own. But you have your own. Why can't you believe in your own and walk with my own? No. You will be asked to believe in their own and walk with their own and abandon your own. That is animal magnetism. Your own is nothing, but their own is something. That is animal magnetism. What you have doesn't come, but they are taking it from you, but they don't allow you to take it. That is animal magnetism. So the, the, the influence of animal magnetism is of numerous manifestation in our daily lives, in our businesses, in what we do, in how we do it, where we do it, and who we do it with. It's all in its influence. It is everywhere. That is animal magnetism. And it is destroying the youth. So we have to understand these things before we can be able to separate them from our religions. 
Because if you don't understand it, we can't separate it. And we will be doing it believing that we are at the right path, not knowing that we are already creating our doom by ourselves. So it is time to grow up in understanding the differences of the animality in the rituals of the Father as associated with the culture of all lands, of all race, and of all people. If we fail, the culture has failed. If we observe it right, salvation is sure. I know these things to be true. I know that the spiritual mesmerisms of the animania application in our uh, 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 decisive or different uh, uh, psychological theory in approaching the father is not to the detriment of any individual. It is to the glory of the father. It is for the exaltation of the kingdom and the building up of the kingdom of the father on earth. So our duty, in as much as we live, is to build up the kingdom of the father on earth. Now, I want to ask the black people. We have all run into all the churches, assisting them to build the kingdom of their own father. Now, where is their own father's kingdom? Is what I want to ask every black race in the world. Where is your father's kingdom? Is it the Arab? Is your father's kingdom in Arab? Is your father's kingdom in Jerusalem? Is your father's kingdom in America? Or your father's kingdom is in Egypt? No, your father's kingdom is in Biafra land, and you must have to come and build it. That is where Amadioha have pointed out for the establishment and building up of his kingdom. His temple, where his children will receive his ordinances and prepare for their salvation and exhortation into their many kingdoms and blessings. I know all these things to be true. I testify to you that the hypnotism of the animal magnetism has eaten up our environment to the extent that our youths do no longer understand the difference between animania sacrifice and animania magnetisms. When we understand this too, we will be able to know what we are doing at every given time, whenever we are faced with that situation. I choose to come this path because I know it's the truth. I know I have been called to teach you, and I know I will continue to teach you, and I know I will teach you the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And I know if you listen to it and apply it daily in your life, you will find answers to the many questions that loom in your heart, and you'll be able to find your pathway home towards the Father. I know all these things to be true, and I testify them with you. And I know as you follow us on our page, on Facebook, on Twitter, at Easter Youth, Network on YouTube at Amadeo Haimu on Twitter and uh, on Facebook on our reels. We will be bringing you some possible practical approach towards our culture and some possible scientific approach towards our culture. Those in line with the YouTube guidelines to avoid, you know, going astray. And uh, I know you will like them. I please, I ask you if you have any question to ask. If you have any, any, any. Uh, uh, anything, idea to share that, or anything that troubles you in your mind that you want to know concerning the existence, I am here to answer your question. I am here to teach you how the first man was formed. I will bring you step by step the lecture of its existence and how the father communicated with every animal he made. I love you. It is my duty to teach you and I will be here to teach you. I will be here to help you pass through it. I will be here to lead you home. I will be here to help you observe your ordinances towards your exhortation and upliftment before the Father. I know these things to be true, and I leave it with you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <coughs>